YouTube is going on with y'all's Von Von the Killer. This is your first time watching me. Welcome to the channel, of course. Posting two to three times weekly, so subscribe for the future ones and go check out the past ones. They are pretty good. There's some other shoes. Hey, go check them out. I'll be reviewing, really. Today we're gonna be talking about the 1017 Elite Mono Slip-Ons, though. I've never seen a review where they review it like after a while, like two years, three years. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about these. At one point, these used to be like my favorite shoe. Uh, I used to never take these off, but over time, I just started getting new shoes, and I don't be wearing these as much. I had to wipe them down before the vid, you know, because I feel like y'all deserve a little bit more clean shoes, but yeah, they're still a little dusty. I ain't gonna lie. You can really see the wear in these. Like, not necessarily they look dirty or the chipness, but like, they got stretch marks. Like, a shoe with stretch marks is crazy. Going on to the shoe description, though, you know, you got the lines right here, you know, you got the lines here. There's a lot of detail within these shoes. Real unique, as you can see, the whole shoe is made out the same material. There's no sole. It's just this and the sole. But even with that, it's still very comfortable. You know, you got the ventilation holes. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six holes. Six holes. If you watch my videos, you know how I be pressing on I don't want hot feet. Then your feet aren't getting hot in these, but they will get cold if you do wear them and it's cold outside. Really nice silhouette, really unique. The thing goes all the way down, so even if there is this base, you know, the shoe is all the way at the bottom. There's no platform in these shoes, even though it's this. Uh, unlike the boots, hey, if you ain't see that boot review I did, go, uh, go check it out, you know. It's the same shoe, just a little bit, just a little bit taller. But back to this one. Back to this one, though, you know, you got the 1017, say the name of the company right there. Uh, yeah, that's really it. As you can see on the bottom, it says made in Italy, got the brand again. And you can see what, like, the wear. You can see the wear from just two years of just thugging in these. Say a big difference between these and like other slip-on sandal types is that these actually hold shoes well. As you can see, this holder right here, I don't even know if it's necessarily a holder, I just think it's the build of the shoe. And then also this right here, they be holding some baggy pants up. Like they be holding them up. They be holding them perfectly in the same spot every time, no matter how you put the pants on. You know, I think there's only one way to put pants on, but you know what I mean? Different openings, different hems. They fit the same with the shoe. I usually be wearing them with baggy pants. I'm gonna be trying them on with baggy pants. So, yeah, we're gonna do that right now. This is what they look like with baggy pants from the top view. These are some pretty big, like, pants. Um, but I did still wanna show y'all the top view just because, you know, the top view is pretty important. I don't be seeing it in a lot of videos. But you can see it fits very nice. It fits very nice. You have about like this much showing, about like this much showing, depending on how baggy the pants are. Of course, these pants are pretty baggy, but y'all gonna see the regular. Y'all gonna see the regular view. I had to move the chair so y'all can see, but boom, this is the regular view. Like I said, these pants are pretty baggy. If you want the pants link, let me know in the comments. I'll do a pants collection, but we talking about the shoes right now. Like I said, these pants are pretty baggy, so I'm gonna switch into some different pants. But as you can see, they do fit pretty nice with baggy pants. Um, I usually only be wearing baggy pants with these just because, you know, the opening is kind of weird. So skinny jeans do not fit the top nicely. So that is a very important piece, you know. Switching to another pair of baggy pants, but less baggy, you know, less dramatic. As you can see, the holding right here, hey, the holding right here is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. They really do be holding up the pants very perfectly. You know, I don't like my pants touching the floor. I don't like touching the floor. So right here, you see? You see what I'm talking about? How I just described how it holds up the pants for you. It's kind of perfect. Depending on how baggy you like your pants, you know, I like them pretty baggy. So most of the time they look like this. But like this one I wear. You know, you see a little like disconnection here with the ankle, all this pants. But that's how I like to wear them. Most of the time they be like this for people. So as you can see, they hold the pants up very nicely either way. And yeah, just an overall nice silhouette. You see a lot of the shoe as you can see. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, these look really nice. I gotta wear these. I gotta wear these today. I ain't gonna lie. A unique shoe. Looking from it from the front, looking at from the top, the side. You know, it's gonna catch some eyes either way. Going on to sizing, these are very true to size. Um, I would not say to size down or size up. I wear 43. These are 43, and they fit me perfectly. Not even perfectly, as in like snug. Like I still have room to breathe. You can see they are pretty wide. I have wide feet, 
and wearing these is just pretty comfortable as you can see like i said they are pretty fat even though they are low tops real unique build real unique silhouette you do have room so i would say true to size if your feet are like narrower i would say like nah i'd say true to size still show y'all another in-depth look you know looking real cool right i'm gonna look with y'all okay so the only like creasing you would say stretch mark types is here there are some creases right here there are creases right here but as you can see like that's not really bendy that's not really bendy and somebody could be like oh Vaughn the shoe may be like you know don't bend like that is it uncomfortable no this is a very comfortable shoe surprisingly this is very comfortable um I have flat feet so you know I can't be wearing certain shoes all the time these I could probably wear every day and I did wear them every day at one point. Could wear these with socks, uh, no socks. I know I wasn't wearing these with socks for a long time, but you know, good house shoe, good outside shoe. I keep saying shoe, but it's really a slide. It's just so comfortable that I just keep considering it a shoe. When I got these a couple years ago, they was at 150. But nowadays, you know, I looked the other day, they going for like a hundred. And there's a lot of colors of them. You know, you got the, these, you got the, these you got the i know there's like a metallic they got like chrome type ones yeah like the price is pretty decent for these i know i edited some next to me just so y'all can see all the different flavor types just so y'all can see the different prices but yeah with that that will be the end of this video if you did enjoy me talking you know chatting speaking check out the last shoe reviews like they actually are pretty good check out the past videos as well they are pretty good too posting two to three times weekly so with that i will see y'all soon